Uh, this video is about how to make uh, a measurement on these instruments, right? Voltmeter, ammeter, and galvanometer. How to make measurements? It's a very fairly simple thing. Maybe I can I can just go into a slightly more detailed, uh, 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 not detailed, a slightly more uh, way of thinking about it, which which would make in, especially for students who find this very difficult to do. I can make it easy for them. So. Galvanometer, of course, we are not so worried about these readings. We only uh, just check if the galvanometer moves. So these readings really have no uh, specific units, so to speak. So we only use the galvanometer to make sure that um, to find out whether the needle is moving at all. So I'm going to keep that aside for now. Now, what about the ammeter? So have a look. This, if you look at this ammeter, you will see there is a zero here, and there is a one at this end, right? So Obviously, this is a 0 to 1 uh, ampere, uh, 0 ampere to 1 ampere ammeter. Although you will see it is written here 0 0.02 volt, uh, which is basically a printing error, uh, I think the way I see it. So, uh, so this is 0. This, if you look, it may look like 2, but there's a point in front of it. So, it's 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and 1.0. That's the idea. So, and if you now count carefully between 0 and 0 0.2 there will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 there are 10 divisions in between 0 and 2 so the what is the value of the smallest division then so that's very easy to know that is very easy so what you're looking at what you're looking at is uh, you have 0 right you have 0 0.2 0 0.4 uh, 0 0.8 I'm sorry, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and 1.0, right? And between these two, there are 10 divisions. So, 0 to 2.2, in between, there are 10 divisions. So, that means each of these divisions will be 0 0.2 divided by 10, which is 0 0.02 ampere. So, that's the least count of this thing, 0 0.02 ampere. So, what does that mean? That means the following, that means the following, um, Maybe I should push this down to see the center better. <clears throat> so that means the following. Uh, the, the very first reading there is zero, right? The one at the end. You will you may see this is not uh, that uh, this needle is not touching the zero. That's because it's not at no, no parallax position. If you look very carefully, you can see the reflection of the there you can see the reflection of the needle so once you put it when you when you once you do it right then you will see that it is at no parallax position so first reading is zero next reading that you have the very very next reading is 0 0.02 the next reading will be 0 0.04 then 0 0.06 0 0.08 0 0.10 so how many divisions are one two three four five that's the one in the that's the one right in the middle and then keeps going 0 0.12 0 0.14 right 0 0.16 0 0.18 and the last one and the last one being 0 0.20 that is this division so now 10 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 that will be your 10 divisions similarly i can repeat this now from 0 0.20 this is 0 0.00. Repeat now from here. That is a 2 and the very next one will be 0 0.22, 0 0.24 and so on all the way to uh, this one becomes 0 0.30, 0 0.32 and so on all the way to 0 0.38 and the last one becomes 0 0.40. That's the idea. Right? That's the last one. And then you are reached here and so on all the way there, all the way to the end. This is how the ammeter reading this for this particular. Now I have another ammeter here, right? What about this one? What about this one? Well, look very carefully here. This is also ranging from zero to one ampere. How many readings are there? You may see the, the, the calibration itself is slightly different here. Every other line is longer and the longer line indicates in this particular case, longer lines will be on this one, this one, this one, this one and this one. Longer lines, 
the longer lines and this one particularly this one will be very long lines that's where the these uh, the the written readings will be shown everything else will be in between that's the idea but, but this one this one on the other hand if you look very carefully uh, uh, the least count is the same you will see you will see that there are 10 divisions between 0 and 0.2 or 0.2 and so on and all these will follow the same thing the only difference being here let me write this down again just for 0 0.02 0 0.04 0. Point, actually we start with 0 0.00, 0 0.06 0 0.08 0 0.10 uh, and this is a longer line that's the longer line so actually the longer lines here will be 0 0.1 0 0.3 0 0.5 0 0.7 and 0 0.9 that's the idea right so between 0 0.100 0 0.10 0 0.20 0 0.30 0 0.30 between these there are five divisions each of those divisions will have 2468 so 0 0.0 2468 0 0.10 0 0.12 0 0.14 1, 6, 1, 8, then 2 2 point, uh, point 0 0.20 22246 2, like that that's how the reading goes okay so this is taking the reading in amid. now what about the voltmeter now what about the voltmeter if you look carefully you will see this is 0 this is 3 at the end and if you look very carefully you will see the divisions in fact maybe I think I should show you the the divisions of this very carefully there let the camera focus there ah there, there you can see the divisions very clearly now right every other reading is a longer line every other reading that's how it's calibrated this on the other hand this on the other hand right the longer ones uh, 0 2 4 6 8 and 1 are given i mean 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 0 0.1 and the ones in the middle the ones in the middle that is uh, this one this point here that's 0.1 that's 0.3 that's 0.5 and so on 0.5 obviously exactly midway between one and I mean zero and one is half that's 0.5 right here on top that's the idea that's the idea this, uh, <clears throat> so this again is uh, this uh, this ammeter again is not uh, at its zero position so again do not do this on your own please get your teachers help right and if you don't do it carefully you can spoil the instrument so we'll just keep it like that there now it's nicely at zero right uh, this of course does not have a mirror so this is obviously of a slightly lower quality uh, than the other one right oh um, and uh, a point of explanation to teachers who are listening to this video as time goes by uh, the the circuitry inside the ammeter gets uh, uh, you know get, gets all kinds of coating on it and as a result the resistance of the ammeter will go up right and uh, as you know that uh, an ideal ammeter must have zero um, uh, resistance but as time goes by the resistance of it goes up and your ammeter will deteriorate over time on the other hand the good news is the voltmeter wants to you want the voltmeter to have a higher value of resistance so over time the voltmeter actually in in a sense of speaking gets better over time right so that is something to to remember point for teachers so if you have a whole set of instruments in the lab i for instance we no choice but to uh, uh, you know um, uh, replace these every uh, five years six years we have to keep checking and replace sometimes you just open this up and sandpaper it and then it will work just fine but anyway that's the idea <laughs> now voltmeter ah, readings in the voltmeter there have a look at that okay you will notice just like the ammeter that white ammeter here just like the white ammeter here the number of readings in between two written readings is 10 there are 10 divisions so here the idea is from 0 to 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 1 1.5 2 2.5 and 3 that's what, that's what is written so if i were to write that down you have 0 0 0.5 actually 0 0.0 0 0.5 you want to keep the uh, the the significant figures the same so 0 0.00, 0 0.05, um, this is uh, then 0, uh, actually 1.00, then 
2.00, uh, 3.00. These are all the readings that are written here. These are the readings written here. There are 10 divisions between this to this, 10 division between this and this, 10 division between this and this, 10 division between this and this and this and this and this. All 10 divisions. So here you have 0, uh, the number of divisions will be 0 0.50 minus 0 0.00 divided by 10. That will be your least count. Or you could even try it for 1.00 minus 0 0.50 divided by 10 this will all give you the same answer or take these two 2.50 minus 2.00 divided by 10 it will all give you the same answer 0 0.05 so this is the least count of the voltmeter that many volts this is the least count so which means what now for some students may find it difficult uh, some students uh, find it difficult to take the readings so uh, here is a, a small thing that you can remember that is you can remember the following 5 10 15 20 30 oh, sorry 25 30 35 40 and so on just put a point in front of this or effectively dividing each of these numbers by 10 that's how the readings work here that's how the readings work here the very first one is 0 the very next one is this then the very next one is this the the next one is that and so on it goes so the where are all the longer readings this is a long one actually this is a very long one the ones that are written and then this short long short long short long short long look at that so point 0.1 point 0.2 point 0.3 point 0.4 those are all the the longer one so if you look 0.4 sorry 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 these are all the longer lines here in between right these are longer lines the ones in between that obviously will be half of these two so half sorry half of this and this will be this half of this and this will be this and these are all the short lines right and similarly all the way to that end just like so you could write so once now this is done you reached point, uh, 0.4 0 0.45 and then 0 0.50 there you've reached this first reading now after that what so i i like to repeat then write this here again then 0 0.55 0 0.65 and so on uh, 60 0 0.65 0 0.70 so, you know the tables of five basically 75 80 85 90 95 and a hundred and put a divide all these numbers by hundred and this is what you get that's all the way up to that's all the way up to this one that's the idea that's how to, to take the reading so start look where it's between say if it's between 1 and 1.5 then you want to look so the next set of readings will be 1.00 starting right then 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 and then put the one in front of it this is how you take this is this is for those who find it difficult you can you can uh, look at it that way and take the reading now this is the voltmeter that i'm using you may use a different voltmeter which may have a different uh, uh, calibration so to speak some may have a 0 to 4 volt 0 to 5 volt right but uh, for the ISC requirement is minimum you need is 0 to 3 is what is expected and uh, 0 to 1 amp for the amp meter. This is what is expected for ISC. So you have a least count for the ammeter. So least count of ammeter 0 0.02 ampere for voltmeter 0.02. 5 volt that's the idea